walking too good. You can walk to the car, you haven't done it enough. Some words of wisdom there from the great Tom Platts. Makes me laugh how serious he is when he says that, but there's some truth to that. At the end of the day, if you really are serious and focused about building a better body and improving your physique, including legs, then um, at some point you're going to have to increase the intensity at which you train and do things that you don't want to do. If you're training legs and you're not in at least some discomfort and you're not fatigued after a session, you know, for hours afterwards in some cases, you're not nervous or anticipating that session, the pain you're going to experience, you're not thinking about and going over the session hours or days beforehand, then you're not putting enough energy and intensity into your leg training. Yes, at some point you can just you know, add five girth by increasing your one max on certain key lifts, such as a squat. My legs were probably the overall thickest when I was squatting over 200 kilos, but to get that really high quality look, you know, to really separate yourself from others, to get that nice separation between the muscles in your thighs, the striations, then you're going to have to move past that kind of basic powerlifting protocol and essentially do things that are really uncomfortable and other people aren't willing to do, like high rep sets, lots and lots of sets where you're feeling very, very weak, you know, isolation movements taken to failure or beyond, um, you know, that's going to, at some point, really show in your physique. You can't hide hard work. And yeah, of course, there's some genetic component to how a muscle looks in terms of maybe striations or vascularity, the separation between certain areas. But, you know, I say once again, at some point, the hard work will show through and you'll be able to separate yourself from others that aren't willing to do the same work that you do. Um, so overall, it was a pretty difficult session for me today. Um, the squats did not go uh, that well. I've been trying to overcome a hip issue uh, for the last couple of months, and I have done successfully. That's no longer a problem now. I've done the necessary work I needed to do to overcome that. Unfortunately, about three weeks ago, I pulled my lower back doing some deadlifts, and um, I've paid the price ever since. I've kind of tried to push through it to no avail. It's just it's just not allowing the injury to uh, recover. So the end of last week, I kind of took a deload on the squat and played it by ear this session, but it was just a little bit uncomfortable as I started ramping up in the weight. So I decided to drop it to 120. I elevated the heels um, considerably. So this helps you remain an upright um, posture as you go down, places more emphasis on the quads um, and uh, it takes a little bit of stress away from the back and it did feel more comfortable. John, on the other hand, is at PB levels. He's the strongest he's ever been, so he's really pushing hard to um, you know, go over that 200 mark on the squat. Today, he lifted 207.5. And ironically enough, the clip you saw earlier on with me a few years back, that was 207.5 with him helping me along. Um, so it's, it's funny how it goes. You just have to stay consistent and, and keep plugging away. And you know, you have to push through things that you don't want to do and you know for years I hated training legs I absolutely hated it when I first started I've never been a good squatter it just biomechanically doesn't feel good I'm not loose enough naturally to be able to kind of get to the depth that I want with an upright posture I've had to do a lot of work to, to get my squat to a fairly decent level um, and it's not as good as it was um, you know flexibility really really um, impacts your squat performance your ability to squat with good form uh, John is exceptional at karate, he's competed at an international level and that mobility has helped him maintain good posture throughout. Um, but you know, it, it shouldn't be enough to stop you from doing something and I've trained people and had conversations with people where they won't train a body part or a lift because they're no good at it. And that's not the attitude. You know, For example, like John, he could have given up when he saw me squatting those big weights years ago, could have sulked and you know, instead he, he knuckled down, did the work, and now he's back up to those kind of weights that I was once at. And likewise for myself, I know for a fact that I'll be back at 200k plus squatting. In, you know, at some point it's inevitable because the mindset is there. Um, it's just physically, you know, it's just not quite ready yet. I've just got to keep chipping away. It's as simple as that. You have to stay consistent first and foremost. I'd say it's also no coincidence that at the time when I was my strongest and now John at his strongest, um, we were both um, really committed to a heavy bulk, very, very high calorie bulk. We were really trying to you know, gain weight pretty much every week. For an actual bodybuilder, I think it's absolutely priceless. You should do that for six to 12 months, at least once, I'd say. 
It's no coincidence that we were both at our peak strength levels during these periods. After the squats, we did do some Bulgarian split squats. You'll notice that John was using the two dumbbells. His balance is really, really good because of his karate. So he was able to stay you know, focused on the actual muscle mass. Whereas for me, I was just losing balance, just wasn't enjoying it, wasn't able to generate the kind of stimulus that I wanted to on the fire. So I went up in weight and used the single uh, dumbbell and that worked really well for me. I'd advocate you probably try the same. You know, his balance is very, very good. You don't want to be worrying about that when you actually do the lift. We also did some extensions and curls past failure. The video clips didn't record the problem with the camera. Uh, we went past failure on those, did some partials on the quads, which were really, really good. And then finished up with some calves. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see more. Also click on the notification button, the little bell icon to be made aware of any videos I upload automatically. Check out my Instagram page. The link is in the description box below for more pictures and updates and what have you. Thanks for watching once again. Stay strong.